Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless your name today, God. We thank you, Lord. We give you the glory, oh God. You are a mighty God. You are a self-existing God. And we thank you, Lord, for letting us be here one more time. Hallelujah. We are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, how I love the God we serve. How I love the God we serve. No, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve. We serve. What a mighty God we serve. You know the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. You know that Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Where well, the angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. We serve. We serve. What a mighty God. We serve, we serve, we serve, what a mighty God we serve, oh how I love the God we serve, you know that how I love the God we serve, oh the angels bow before him, head and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Oh, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his
day, yes, 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 my Lord, in new day, yes, yeah, yeah, in the evening, yes, 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 my Lord, in the evening, yes, yeah, yeah, well, my soul said yes, 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 my Lord, my soul said yes, yeah, yeah. My soul says yes, 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 my Lord, my soul says yes, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. My soul says yes, glory. In the morning, noon, day, and midnight, my soul says yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody give him some hand praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For he is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Truly, we thank God for being here on today. Hallelujah. Right now, we're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Yes. And all of those that have a prayer request, please make it known, hallelujah, at this time. If we have no prayer requests, we are going to go ahead. Uh, Brother Standifer and Elder Standifer, amen, amen uh, uh, requesting prayer. We also requesting prayer for uh, uh, the Grayson and McCoy family. Amen, and the Westfield family, and the Jackson family, and right. yes. amen, uh, amen, uh, the Ketchin family, and the Brown family. We're asking the saints to pray for each and one of them. Amen, amen. amen. Even pray for my family. Mm. Amen, amen. Uh, amen. The devil is busy. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. For all of those who have unspoken requests. Man, we ask you to make it known now by the elevation of your right hand, whether you be here or on our broadcast under the sound of our voice. Hallelujah. Thank you. Eternal Father, we thank you, O God. Lord, for your grace and for your mercy. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, for how you have kept us, O God. Even, Lord Jesus, while we slept and slumbered, Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for who you are in our life, our protector, Lord Jesus, our healer, Lord God, our deliverer. Lord, you are our king. Lord, we choose you as our God. Lord, there's no one that sits beside you, no one that sits under you. Lord, there's no one, hallelujah, above you. It's only you right now. Lord, your name right now, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. Oh, there's power in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we come to you as humbly as we know how. Lord, asking for your deliverance right now. But Lord, asking for your forgiveness for our sins and iniquities against you, oh God. Lord, we are asking you, Lord Jesus, as we are forgiving those who have sinned against or trespassed against us. Lord, those who have hurt us. Lord, those who have, have trespassed and, Lord, trying to put us down. Lord, we ask you, oh God, to help us. Give us strength to forgive as you forgive us, Lord God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, there's so much heartache. Lord, there's so much pain. Lord, there's so much, oh God. Oh, hallelujah. But, Lord, we know that you are a delivering God. Lord, we know that you are a merciful God. And, Lord, we ask you, oh, God, oh, Lord God, to remember us right now. In the name of Jesus. Remember us right now, Jesus. Remember us, oh, God. Lord, in the name of Jesus. All of those that have been calling out your name, oh, God. Lord, we are looking for a blessing right now. Lord, looking for the empowerment, oh God. Oh, Lord Jesus, the overcome, hallelujah. Lord, for we know that we only are overcomers through the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony, oh God. And Lord, we claim you, Lord Jesus, and cover with the blood 
Oh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask you to bless our leaders, oh God. Lord, all the way to our, our, our leader, oh Lord Jesus, Bishop Williams. Lord, down to the board of bishops, oh God. And our diocesan bishop, Bishop Wright, and his family, Lord Jesus. Lord, we ask you to keep them in good health, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that they might be able to continue, oh God, to help and strengthen, Lord Jesus. Feed us the word, oh God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, lead us in the way that you would have us to go. Lord God, we ask you to, to, to bless uh, Overseer Jackson's family, Lord God, Lord Jesus, as they are grieving right now. But Lord, lift them up, oh God to be able to continue to lead, oh God, as they have been. Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch right here in this church house right here, Jesus. Oh, in the leadership here, oh God, even me, oh Lord, even me, oh Lord, even me, oh Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, touch my family, oh God. Rain down your anointing right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that we may be able to lead your flock, oh God, that we might be able, oh God, oh, to say a word, oh Lord Jesus, oh, to bless somebody's soul, to be an example and be a light to the world, oh, hallelujah, to show them that you are, hallelujah, oh, in control, oh, hallelujah, Jesus. Touch the ministerial staff here. Oh, God, touch each and every one, Lord Jesus, that, 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 that Lord, are watching this broadcast. Lord, we ask you to send your spirit right now into their homes, oh, God. Lord, touch them right now. Let them know 2020 was in 2020. Now we are in 2021, a year of a testimony. And, Lord, we're looking right now for our testimony. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, somebody praise him. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Glory to God. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Oh, all of these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come by here, dear Lord. Come by here. Come by here, dear Lord. Come by here. Come by here, dear Lord, come by here, oh Lord, come by here, come by here, dear Lord, come by here, come by here, dear Lord, come by here, come by here, dear Lord, come by here, oh Lord, come by here, somebody needs Somebody needs you, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Somebody's praying, Lord, come by here. Oh, Lord, come by here. Somebody's crying, Lord. Make a hundred ninety-nine and a half won't do. Lord, I'm running, 
Can't make a hundred Ninety-nine and a half won't do Oh, Lord, I'm running Trying to make a hundred Ninety-nine and a half won't do Lord, I'm running Trying to make a hundred Ninety-nine and a half won't do Well, just won't do, Lord Just won't do, Lord Ninety-nine and a half won't do Just won't do, Lord Just won't do, Lord Ninety-nine and a half won't do Oh, Lord, I'm running Trying to make a hundred Ninety-nine and a half won't do Lord, I'm running Trying to make a hundred Ninety-nine and a half won't do just won't do, Lord. Just won't do, Lord. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Just won't do, Lord. Just won't do, Lord. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Jesus on that main line, telling what you want. You know, Jesus on that main line, telling what you want. Jesus on the main line, telling what you want. Just call him up and tell him what you want. If you want your body healed, tell him what you want. Oh, if you want your body healed, tell him what you want. If you want your body healed, tell him what you want. Just call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, if you sick and can't get well, tell him what you want. You know if you sick and can't get well, tell him what you want. Oh, if you sick and can't get well, tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. Oh, call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. You just call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. You just call him up, call him up, tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We get glory to God. Oh, we give you the praise, Lord. So worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Scripture reading coming from Psalms 95. Oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep pleasures of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. Amen. The sea in his, is his. And he made it, and his hands formed the dry land. I have read Psalm 95, 1 through 6. May God bless him to the reader and hear of his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for me. Well, it was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood. It was my Savior's blood for me. Yeah. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. For me, you know that blood came streaming down. His blood came streaming down. His blood came streaming down for me. One day when I was lost, he died up on the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Well, they crowned his head with thorns. Crowned his head with thorns. They crowned his head with thorns for me. One day when I was lost, he died up on the cross. And I know it was blood for me. Oh, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood. 
blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood for me. One day when I was lost. me. 
make me want to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. Oh, hallelujah. Don't be upset because it's one or two people. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Because you think everybody's left you out in the cold. Hallelujah. You're sitting at home. You're the only one watching this show. The scripture say, when two or three are gathered in my name, I would be in the midst. And I'm counting. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, we want you to come in right now. You say, why is he so excited this morning? Oh, this is the first Sunday of the year. This is the first Sunday of the year. It's the third of the month, and I made it over. I made it into this new year. And give me something to shout about. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I give honor to God in the presence of, amen, uh, uh, my wife and the uh, um, uh, absence of our ministerial staff. Amen. Amen. In the presence of Amen, Deacon Brown and our ministers of music. Amen. Brother Standifer and uh, our, our praise leader. Amen. Sister Vogel. Amen. Missionary Vogel. Amen. I thank the Lord for Amen. Um, uh, each of you and Brother King coming in. Amen. 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 Sister Wright. Sister Wright, you want to come up for a minute? Or so? Okay, that's good, Pastor Paul. I thank the Lord for each of you uh, coming in and pressing your way through the orange court. Plug it in. Uh, pressing your way through the snow and we didn't have some ice. Seemed like the year, first year, come, come uh, with some thump. Gave us an ice storm. We ain't seen one of these in a while. That's right. And ice reminded me of the 90s when we had that ice storm. They said a few thousand people without power. Amen. They were without power. And when it's cold like this, this ain't the time to be without power. Ooh. Hallelujah. But I truly thank the Lord that uh, the power was restored. Amen. Amen. It made me think about just when I was looking at the, the fact that they're without power. Only without power for a temporary time. But when you in the spiritual are without power, yeah. there's a place that you can go to renew. Yeah. There's, there's somebody that you can go to to renew your strength, renew that power within you. And his name is Jesus. His name is Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. I don't care what. Folks say, I don't care uh, what they think that they know. Amen. If you don't know Jesus, mm -hmm. if you don't know Jesus, you're missing out on your power. That's right. You're running out on that power. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When your power, hallelujah, is restored. You ought to praise God. Amen. You ought to praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. When you are going through some things and you are struggling in your life and the Lord restores you, you ought to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I, I was thinking about that all through the day. Last night and <laughs> today and just being able to praise the Lord. We're going to go over into a brief word. <coughs> it's in Psalm number 34. Psalm number 34. Sometimes when I have to remember things, I remember numbers because they're associated with something. And Psalm 34 Reminded of the number 34 because I used to be a football like fan of 
one man in particular. That's one of my favorites. His name was Walter Payton. And he used to call him sweetness. And when I read this, I think about the sweetness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm thinking about how good God is. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because he did not have to do it, but he did. He doesn't have to wake us up every morning. We are not deserving of any of this. We can't say we deserve his mercy. Because yeah. we don't. Amen. As much sinful living as we do. As arrogant as we are. As stubborn as we are. As selfish as we are. We can't say that we deserve anything. But God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But God. And I truly thank God for him being God in my life. Eternal Father, we thank you, O oh God. Lord, for your grace and your mercy, your love, and your tender kindness. And Lord, we ask you to come into this place right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, move in this place right now. All of those under the sound of my voice. Lord, we're asking you right now, saturate, saturate their space right now, Jesus, with your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Come, Holy Ghost. Our souls inspire. Lord, we need you right now. We need a word from you, Lord God. Oh, of encouragement. Lord, we need a word from you right now of deliverance. We need a word, Lord God, of comfort. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to come right now. Remove any hindrance, stumbling block, obstacle that might be in our way from hearing this word. In the name of Jesus, Satan, we rebuke you right now. In the name of Jesus, devil, you got to go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, let it be all of you and none of me. Thank you, Lord. We ask you to go to Psalm 34. And this is a peculiar verse, and, and, and it helps us to, to understand when you have made a decision, when you have made a decision, you got to keep that decision. And you got to trust in God. You got to acknowledge God in all that you do. And with that being said, you have to praise the Lord at all times. Amen. Praise him when it's going good. Praise him when it's going bad. Praise him when you feel like there ain't no reason to praise him. Praise him anyhow. Praise ye the Lord. We're going to go in and it reads. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Mm -hmm. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. See, this is a call to action. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Yes. Come on here. Magnify the Lord with me. I know somebody else been going through in their life. I know somebody else got a testimony similar to mine. I know somebody else, hallelujah, have been delivered by the Lord. I know somebody else, hallelujah, have had a taste of his mercy. Yes. Says, I sought the Lord. I sought the Lord, 
and he heard me mm. and delivered me from all my fear. See, I was running. I was moving. See, David was having some issues and he was running. Hallelujah. Oh, but God kept him. That's right. He said, I called on the Lord. I sought the Lord. He heard me. How many of you have been calling on the Lord and felt like that, that it's just he might not hear you? Yes. How many of you have been just calling on the Lord and, and it was problems happening in your life? It seems like the world was closing in on you. Yes, Lord. It seems like everywhere you turned, there was something. You just could not get out of it. All right. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but that's what it felt like all through 2020. All through 2020, it seemed like the enemy was just attacking on every which way. I'm not just talking about COVID-19, but the, 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 the aftermath of COVID-19, the, 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 the extra uh, 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 things or characteristics that came with COVID-19. The economy shutting down, losing your job, bills are piling up. Come on here, somebody. You in the house all day with somebody that you think that you love or that you're supposed to love, and you arguing like never before. When you get onto your job, you're angry with folks for no reason. Going through the stores and folk looking at you because you ain't got your mask or you might got your mask and they don't got their mask and everybody got an attitude. You're looking at the way the police is treating our people. It seems like you just can't get a fresh shake out of this thing. Every time you turn around, somebody is dying. Somebody calling you, you, you refuse to pick up the phone late at night because you know somebody is calling to say, so-and-so just got rushed to the hospital or so-and-so just died, passed away. Come on here, somebody. Yeah, yeah. Hate looking at the news. When you turn on that TV, you just want to hear some good news. But every time you change the channel, it's nothing but sinful commercials. Turn around and men kissing men, women kissing women. Hallelujah. All right. Hallelujah. Just looking about how the world is going down. The newscaster comes on and begins to tell you how... There's a hurricane over here or fires over there. And you're looking and all you can think is, oh, this world is coming to an end. The police just killed another or, 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 or hallelujah. Come on here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So many thousands have just died from COVID-19 all over the world. Millions. And you're crying out, praying, Lord, save us. Lord, deliver us. Lord, help us. Lord, keep us. You might find that you, your prayers have been heard. God has heard your cry. Yes. You're still here. You're still here. God has kept you. God has kept all of us, even until now, for such a time appointed as this, that you can hear his word, Amen. that you can praise his name one more time. You can praise him one more time. You can say, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah It's the highest praise. And I shout hallelujah. Somebody say praise the Lord. Thanks. You say hallelujah. Because it's the highest praise. God ain't looking for your fake praise. Hey, hey. God don't look for your fake praise. Mm. Glory. You don't want none of that. He wants you to praise him. Like you don't care who looking at you. He wants you to praise him. Like he didn't brought you out of something. He wants you to praise him. Like he's delivered you. He wants you to praise him. Like he's healed your body. Like you then brought your children out. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Oh, he's a merciful God. Worthy of our praise. 
Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, lift him up. And tell the Lord, thank you. Oh, he's delivered you from all of your fears. All of the fears of losing out. All of the fears are being put out. All of the fears are being taken out. Hallelujah. Even the fear over yourself. The fear that you might not be capable or you might not have the capacity. Hallelujah. Come on here. Let's keep reading. They looked unto him mm -hmm. and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Oh, they looked at him when he said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Others start looking at him. Oh, hallelujah. And they were lightened. They had some hope. They had some hope in the Lord and knew that the Lord delivered him and he might deliver them. Hallelujah. There was hope there. Their face was lightened. And they were not ashamed. I'm going to stand here with you. I'm going to ride with you. I'm going to go with you. Ride or die. Hallelujah. I'm riding with the Lord. Come on here. He said, this poor man cried. This poor man cried. It wasn't a rich man. Hallelujah. And the Lord heard him. Oh, this poor man cried. It wasn't a man who had everything is what I mean. And a man didn't have all that he needed, but it was a poor man who cried out. Lord heard him. The Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. And saved him out of all his trouble. I don't care what kind of troubles you in. I don't care if you think that you are the woman or the man of the hour. I don't care what's going on in your life. If you got trouble, oh hallelujah. God is our secret judge. He's the only one that can judge us. I can't put you in heaven or in hell. All I can do is tell you the word of God. And might you, hallelujah, have been in a situation where you might not can't tell everybody what's going on but you can tell Jesus and he'll hear your cry Lord I want to be healed again Lord I need to be delivered again something going on in my life Lord you know it's something got a hold on me it keeps on pulling me back but Lord I know there's power in your name if I can just call on your name Jesus 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 Lord I'm seeking you hallelujah I know if you did it for David you can do it for me I know if you did it for the mother folk you can do it for me Jesus 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 Lord bring me out hallelujah oh hallelujah Lord I need you I need you that's it hallelujah that this poor man cried and the Lord heard and the him. Lord heard him. And saved him out of all his troubles. And saved him out of all of his troubles. Hallelujah. He said he saved him out of all of his troubles. Everything that was going on, everything, hallelujah, that was troubling his heart. Maybe he needed his bills paid. Maybe he needed to be saved from somebody who was trying to kill him. Maybe he was hooked on something and God brought him out. Hallelujah. God would do that for you. Don't you know that if you just call on his name, hallelujah, That's right. he'll come. Don't you know if you just call on his name. He'll be right there. That's it. Don't you know that there's power in his name? Yeah. Hallelujah. There's power in his name. Yeah. Hallelujah. The enemy shakes and trembles when you call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. He knows that it's trouble coming. If you call on the name of Jesus, yes. you ought to practice calling on his name just so you can get it right. You ought to practice calling on his name, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. Lord, I'm in trouble, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Even in a time where it's good, Jesus, you ought to wake up calling on Jesus. Lord, keep me, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for waking me up this morning. Lord, I thank you for my family. Lord, I thank you for giving me my right mind. Lord, I thank you. Oh, hallelujah. You ought to 
to praise the Lord sometime. You ought to praise the Lord at all times. Hallelujah. His praise should be, oh, hallelujah, continually on your tongue. It should be continually in your mouth. It should continually come on out. Praise his name. All right. I know sometimes my wife and kids be looking at me. And I'm walking through the house saying, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Waking up in the middle of the night saying, thank you, Jesus. Hey, thank you. Glory to God. Hey, my see. You don't understand what God has done for me. And I know he's done something for each of you because you're still sitting here. Some of you might be older than I. So I know God's blessed you. Hallelujah. You ought to holler out Jesus. It says the angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivereth him. That's right. See, there's a a double meaning of the word fear when you read it in the Bible. See, there's a fear of respect. There's a fear of honor. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I fear, I respect God. I fear, I love God. But there's also another type of fear. A fear, being afraid. (laughs) I'm afraid of what he's going to do to me if I don't do right. That's right. You ought to fear God. You ought to fear God, not just at church. Not just at church. See, I used to think that if I came into the church or I lied or if I cussed or if I committed any sin inside the church, that the Lord would do something to me. And see, the thing is, this church, yes, is a sacred place, but it's just a building. So the same way you act in here, you should be right on the other side of that door. When you get into your vehicles, you ought to be talking the same way you were talking in church, the same way you were talking or should be talking in your car. Same way you're talking at work, it's the same way you should be talking at church. The same way you walking or living, the same way you're dressing when you come to church, you should be doing it out there in the world. There should be no difference. Hallelujah. You shouldn't be wavering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ought to praise God either way. Thank you, Jesus. I'm looking at this, and this word just came to me, and I'm sitting here reading, and I I was fighting it because I was wanting to preach something else. But God has sent this and brought this to my mind and let me know we ought to be praising God, praising him, praising his name, worshiping him. Hallelujah. He got angels encamped all around us. All around us. Keeping the enemy from away from you. might not be able to see these angels. Hallelujah. But he's keeping things from harming and hurting us. Don't you understand when you're driving down the street, it's not you and your driving that's keeping you. It's God and his angels protecting you from hurt, harm, or danger. Don't you understand when you were driving down the street and said, oh, I forgot to go pick something up. You got to turn back around and go to the house and find out later on there was a big accident down the road somebody was shooting up the place down the road something was going on down the road and he was keeping you i was watching the news and they were talking about the young uh, man who uh, uh, had a, a bomb in his vehicle in nashville and it exploded, and 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 that uh, that and down in downtown Nashville, Amen. a few blocks, and there was a police officer they had interviewing, and this police officer, he said it was nothing but God mm-hmm. that kept him. All right. They said, so what do you mean? He said when I was 
going towards that direction. He said, something told me to go check on the other officer. And I'm listening to him. He said, and I know what it was. And, you know, they try to cut these sound bites. Yeah. He said he knew it was God. All right. Those, those sound bites might have you uh, or have it where you don't hear everything. But he said, <laughs> I came back to check on him. And he said, three to five seconds later, mm. when I turned around and went the other direction, the explosion hit. Yeah. You can't tell me God ain't protecting his people. That's right. Hallelujah. You can't tell me God ain't protecting his people. I remember I was driving back from Birmingham, Alabama, trying to race back home. Hallelujah. So I can get back to my family. And I'm flying like I do. I'm just driving. And now I'm coming around this curve, and there's mountains on the side over in, in Nashville, or going towards Nashville, and I guess it's called Columbia, Tennessee. And as I'm coming around the curve, there's a lot of semis in my way. And all I heard was pop, and I'm thinking my tire popped, and I just start calling on Jesus, and I grabbed the hold to the wheel. I said, Jesus, Jesus. Yeah. The semi to the right of me was, he, he and I caught eyes and he looked at me and I looked at him. And he pulled away and I tried to pull the car this way, but my truck was going towards him. He hit his gas and I just missed him. Looked up forward, there was semis in front of me and my, truck, and my vehicle was just moving. And, 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 and the semi that was behind me, hallelujah, and the car to the right of me, I just felt like I was just about to crash and I just couldn't do anything but call on the name of Jesus. Yeah. That vehicle began to move and I'm going to left and he started trying to push it to the right and I know it was nothing but Jesus that took control of the wheel because it pushed me over to the right where it was an open space and it moved me into the knoll of or all of the grass was and the grass was just high enough that it got under my vehicle where I did not hit the mountain I didn't even see. Hallelujah. God protected me when I got out my vehicle. I almost got hit by a truck. Hallelujah. But God kept me. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Came around to the sun. I started looking. It wasn't my tire that popped. My whole wheel had came off the axle. You can't tell me it wasn't nothing but God. The only thing that was holding the wheel in there was the, the brake cable. Thank you, Jesus. The brake cable was the only thing that was attached to this wheel. I'm telling you something that I've been through. Amen. God is a keeper. He's a deliverer. Oh, he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You got to know who God is in your life. And if you don't know who God is, the scripture, oh, it's so beautiful. The scripture, it tells us, hallelujah, in the best way that we can say it. When something is good to you, somebody gave me some caramel cake. When it's good to you, yeah. hallelujah, you say, I want somebody else to have some. Yeah. Huh? Somebody gave me some, some cookies and say, when it's good to me, I want somebody else to taste it too. I want you to feel what I'm feeling. When God's been good to me, I want you to feel the same way. Hallelujah. Yeah. It says, oh, taste and oh, see taste and that see. the Lord is good. Yes. Bless is the man. Oh, hallelujah. That's that right. trusted in him. Oh, taste and see. You got to taste God for yourself. You got to get a hold of him for yourself and see how he's good to you. See what he can do for you. See how he can deliver you. See how he can heal you. Oh, hallelujah. Come on here, somebody. That's right. You ought to praise the Lord right now. You ought to be shouting to the top of your lungs. Hallelujah. hallelujah. 
Oh, hallelujah. If you don't know who God is, you ought to taste him right now. You ought to call on his name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You ought to call on him for yourself. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lord, I need you in my life. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Help me through it, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, the Lord God, yeah. he's merciful. He said, though your sins be as scarlet, he said, I'll make them white as snow. You know what that means to me? Though you've been doing everything that you big enough and bad enough to do, though you've been living your life the way you wanted to live it, though you've been going against every one of my commandments, He said, I'll forgive you. Ain't that something? Amen. Though your sins be as scarlet. Hallelujah. You know what that color looks like? That's, that's, that's right there. Dark red. Dark red. Yeah. Though your sins be this dark. Red. He said, I'll make them white as snow. That's right. You know what that means to me? He's a merciful God. Amen. You know what that means to me? He's a deliverer. God is so good. I know if he can change me, he can change you. Amen. And all I started out doing was praising God. You know, when you start praising them for things that happen in your life, hmm. when you acknowledge him for things that's going on in your life, when you start hearing the name of Jesus <laughs> by your own tongue, as power, changes begin to happen and begin to change your thought process. Start looking at the things that you're doing in your life and, and you want it to uh, start repenting it. I might not need to do this no more. I, st I, I don't think that this is the right way I'm going. And, and something begins to happen. And after you begin to repent so much and so and you come to Jesus. See, the scripture tells us when you draw nigh unto him, he will draw nigh unto you. Hallelujah. When you decide to change your way, when you decide to get rid of the, uh, uh, the things that are causing you to walk the wrong way. Start seeing Jesus, hallelujah, work in your behalf. Jesus is, hallelujah, a wonderful name. I love the Lord. I love him. I love the Lord. I don't want to go back. I love the life that he's given me. This life might not be full of the glitz and the glamour, but I'm going to tell you, the glitz and the glamour ain't all it's cracked up to be. Amen. I didn't live that life. Looking for everybody calling you and, and, and talking to you and, and wanting to party with you. That ain't the life that you want to live. The glitz and the glam and the partying and the drinking and the smoking and the shooting up. That ain't the life that you ought to be living. Yeah. Pacify you for just a, a moment. But God will sanctify you for a lifetime. Come on here. Because after this flesh and this blood, hallelujah, passes away. After it goes, because all of us got an appointment that we got to make. An appointment that we cannot miss. You don't know the day or the hour, but it's coming. And you got to know God. You got to taste the Lord. Huh? You got to taste and see him for yourself. 
see what he got for you. That's right. Because I'm going to tell you, if you don't know him, I don't care how nice That's right. you are, how much honor you have, Thank you, how many folks you've helped out, mm. how good you are, how much people going to talk about you when you die. That's the truth. If you ain't got Jesus mm. in your life, oh, hallelujah. If you don't have Jesus in your life, Lord have mercy. what are you talking about, pastor? I don't think, I don't trust, I don't know. See, that's the problem. Everybody is trying to, 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 to assume something for themselves. They don't want you to speak on the scripture because this is the truth. You can't make it up for yourself. This ain't no a la carte religion. The scripture tells us that Jesus said, if you come in any other way, you're nothing but a thief and a robber. He talked about how the sheep, they know his, his flock knows his voice. When you hear the voice of the Lord telling you that you need to come home. When you hear the voice of the Lord telling you, you need to start doing right. You might want to follow that voice. Because if you try to sneak in there any other way, any other way. you're nothing but a thief and a robber. That's right. I don't care if you're standing up in the pulpit preaching the word. See, there's a lot of folks that want to point fingers and talk about other folks and ain't got it right themselves. And Matthew, he said, I will separate the weed from the tear. So, yeah, you go ahead and you do this all you want. If you ain't got it right, by the time he cracks this guy or you <laughs> expire, yeah. we're going to look at you. But those of us who think we got it and don't say I never knew you you workers of iniquity yeah. see I want the Lord to say well, well done, done James well done James good and faithful. well done thy good and faithful servant yeah. Boy, come on up here and get your wings yeah. come on up here and get your robe come on and get your crown I heard you when you were down there blessing my name. I heard you when you were down there praising the Lord. I heard even when you were in your trouble, you were calling on my name. I heard you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. I want the Lord to say good. Well done, good and faithful servant. I don't want him to say nothing else. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to be ready. Amen. You ought to be ready. There's only, there's not a, not, a, not a whole lot of different ways you get in. You need to repent and be baptized. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you, in the name of Jesus. That's it. See, sometimes we let me let me just go ahead and say myself. Been in the church all my life, and I was doing well until I went off to college, and I come back home, and I felt like David when I said my foot. See, his foot almost slipped. My foot slipped. And I went backwards. And when I went backwards, I felt like that I was the scum of the earth. Doing things that I should not have. But God had mercy on me. And see, sometimes what keeps you is the fact that somebody else might be saying something to you. Or looking at you a certain way. But I'm going to tell you, when it's a race to be won, 
you better do whatever it takes. I don't care what nobody else got to say. I don't care how I look, how ugly I'm crying. I don't care. I'm going to tell the Lord, I want to be saved. I want to be delivered. I need your help. Lord, pick me up. Lord, save me. Even from myself. Sometimes we might need to rededicate ourselves. It's a new year. That's right. You might need to just rededicate yourself. Yeah. Renew the vows within you. A Maybe you ain't did nothing, but you just need to rededicate yourself. Get a renewing of your spirit. Why not now? Why not right now? If you feel the need to turn your life back over to God or to rededicate yourself. Won't you come? Those that are listening to this broadcast live, won't you come? We're at 601 East Vine Street, Champaign, Illinois. We got a pool and we're ready to baptize you in Jesus' name for the remission of your sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. This is your time. This is your opportunity right now. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't wait for yeah. another. Don't wait for somebody else to come with you. Do it for yourself. Do it so that you can taste and see that God is good. And he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. I don't know about you, but I want my reward. Won't you come? If you don't have a church home, we are here, 601 East Vine Street, Champaign, Illinois, 61820. Little Red Church on the corner, Apostolic Overcoming Holy Church of God. And we welcome you to change. Hallelujah. For your change. Hallelujah. For the best. Thank you, Jesus. Maybe you just need prayer for the year. Maybe you need prayer to help renew your spirit. I want you right now just to stretch your arms out wide. Stretch your arms out right. Yeah. When you stretch your arms out, you're stretching your arms out And surrender to the Lord. You're welcoming him into your life. Eternal Father, we thank you right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we come here as humbly as we know how. Humbly, Lord Jesus, crying out, Hosanna. Lord, save us right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, save us right now. Hallelujah. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we plead the blood over our lives right now. Lord, we plead the blood over our family right now. We plead the blood over our household right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in this 2021 year, Lord Jesus, we claim the victory right now. Oh, we claim the victory, Lord Jesus. Oh, we claim our testimony right now. In the name of Jesus. Lord, those who may not know you, Lord Jesus, let our testimony, oh, let our testimony to taste and see that your love is good. Taste and see that you are good. Taste and see that there's power in your name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask for your healing right now. For those that need healing. Lord, we ask you, oh God, to fix the hearts of those that are broken. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, those, oh God, that are, may not be in their right mind. Lord, we ask you to regulate their minds right now. In the name of Jesus. Keep them, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, be a way maker right now, Jesus. 
Oh, as we know that you are. Oh, God, right now, Holy Ghost, come right now. Lord, bring that company that you said that you would send, Lord Jesus. Right now, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire. Right now, Holy Ghost, our souls inspire. Lord, we speak prosperity over this year. Oh, right now, Jesus. Lord, we speak love of our life right now. Healing of our life right now. In the name of Jesus. Come, Holy Ghost. Our souls inspire. Come, Holy Ghost. Our souls inspire. Come, Holy Ghost. Our souls inspire. Oh, Lord, we need you. Saving power. Lord, we need you. Healing power. Lord, we need you right now. Come on, somebody. Call on his name, Jesus. 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 Lord, this year we're going to call on your name. Jesus. 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 We're going to call on his name more and more. Jesus. 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 Lord, we need you right now. Jesus. Come, Holy Ghost. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, wave your hand and say hallelujah. Oh, if he's in no place right now, hallelujah. You don't want to miss your blessing. You ought to wave your hand right now. Tell the Lord, hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord, I thank you. Oh, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Wave your hand and taste and see that the Lord is good. Let him take over your life right now. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We come to lay down our burdens. You ought to lay down those burdens. Oh, hallelujah. Lay down that strife. Lay down that grief. Thank you, Jesus. Lay down that inconsistency. Lay down that procrastination. Right. Lay down, hallelujah, that jealousy, that envy. Lay it down. Lay it down, that arrogance. Lay it down right now. In the name of Jesus. Humble yourself before the Lord. Humble yourself before the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, taste and see. Humble yourself for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, he cannot see. Lord, I want you in my life. Oh, you ought to tell him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Blessed be the rock of our salvation. Hosanna. Blessed be the rock. Blessed be the rock of our salvation. Oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord. For he is worthy to be praised. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Oh, glory to God. If you at your home, hallelujah, your carpet should have a hole in it from dancing around all around the house. Hallelujah. You ought to be waving your hand even at your home. If you're on your job or in your car, just wave your hand and tell the Lord, thank you. You ought to praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brother Jonathan Jackson always say, praise the Lord. Stop looking at me and praise the Lord, saints. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You ought to start the year off right. Just praising the Lord and thinking how you can praise him even the more. The things that you can do even the more to give God the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was reading. Thank you, Jesus. A book. I started off. I said, I'm going to start off right. Start renewing and looking at this book. It's called The Five Love Languages. And as I was going through that, I started thinking about just what this man was saying. And even now I'm thinking, how are you praising God? How do you praise him? Is it just through clapping your hand, waving your hand, stumping your feet? Some of us dance. Some of us play instruments. And you praise the Lord in that. Some of us don't have the gift of playing the instruments. You got the gift of singing. How do you praise the Lord? Using your gifts that God gave you. That's right. Hmm? Maybe you uh, uh, don't have the, those kind of talents, but you know how to work electrical equipment or, 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 or machinery. You know how to clean up. How do you praise God? How do you give back to God you ought to come into your praise and just tell the Lord thank you if you can't do nothing else just tell him thank you if you can't do nothing else just wave your hand but you got to give God back what is his and that's just you you are God's Sounds kind of odd, but you are his. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, and this is one of my favorites, the earth is the Lord's. That's this place that we stand on, that we dwell in. And it says the fullness thereof. The grass, the trees, the water, the animals, even you and I. The earth is the Lord's. Thank you, Jesus. And the fullness thereof. We belong to God. Whether you like it or not, we belong to God. And there's something about God. There's something about him. It ain't no grievance. It's, see, the, the word tells us that his his, his, his ways are not grieving, uh, 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 grievous. Mm -hmm. Just because you are a child of God don't mean you can't have fun. But he puts a parameter, he puts rules in place or commandments in place that we don't overdo, that we don't hurt ourselves, that we don't cause ourselves all uh, uh, destruction. If you don't know nothing about anything, and you didn't get anything out of this message, just remember this. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good.
Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man, and I'm going to say a woman, that trusted in him. Empowered is the man or woman that trust in him. Put your trust in God. Don't trust in man. Like my uncle, Elder Richard Wright used to say, I dare you to try him. I dare you to try Jesus. I dare you to try Jesus right now. Forget about what happened last year. As a matter of fact, I want you to remember everything that happened. Everything bad that happened to you last year. Now trust in God. Because he brought you out of that. Trust in God. Because now you're stronger. Trust in God. Because he is good. He is good. How many know God is good? Hallelujah. How do you know God is good? Thank you, Jesus. And this is uh, 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 Sunday morning, and it's time for us to give. Hallelujah. It's time for us to give unto the Lord, who is so good to us. Hallelujah. He's good. He is so good. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to be the first one to give my offering. I want you to understand when you give, you give unto the Lord. You ain't giving to me. You ain't giving to nobody else. You're giving unto God. I hear a lot of folks talking and a lot of rhetoric and uh, people want to uh, challenge the church and say the, ch the church is trying to make money when the church has Amen. The bills to pay to stay up. That's the reality of it. But you're not giving, you're giving your offering to God. Because he said, when you come into the house of the Lord, bring ye an offering. You ought to start the, 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 the uh, year off right. Paying your tithes and offering. I know I pay my tithes and offering. And the Lord has been blessing me. Here you go, brother. The Lord has been blessing me because I've been in places where I needed a financial blessing and did not have the opportunity. And he blessed me. And he blessed me. So I want you to get your offering together. Keep your mask on. Keep your, uh, 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 keep your mask on and uh, make sure you have, uh, get some of the sanitizer once you put some of that, that money in there and get you some sanitizer. For all of those that are at home or on our live program, you can donate. Uh, if you look down at the lower third, um, it says uh, our cash app is the money sign S-T-A-O-H. The money sign S-T-A-O-H. Amen. If you going through this year, I want you to start thinking about your obligations, not just to uh, 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 your, your, your finances at home, your bills and things, but you want to make sure that you, you have your obligations to God, um, and, and he has uh, obligations, financial obligations that we have to, to, to um, abide by. I believe it's in um, Malachi 3 and 10. Yeah, I believe it's Malachi 3 and 10. Brother Stanford, can you read that for me? I wanted somebody else to read it so it won't sound like I'm just reading uh, out of my Bible that I might have put together myself. So somebody else read it. Uh, we got Brother uh, Standard for who can ready to read this. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. It says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse. That there may be meat in mine house. That there may be meat in mine house. And prove me now herewith. See, this says, Prove me now herewith. The Lord of See, he's saying, I want you to bring 
your tithes in. That's 10% of whatever increase you have. Now, I know sometimes that might seem uh, steep, but 10% of a dollar is 10 cents. If you can give God your 10%, he said, prove me this thing. If I will open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there will not be room enough for you to receive it. So that means if you are giving your tithes and your offering, he said, I'm going to pour you out a blessing and you're going to be standing there holding on and all around you there's going to be a blessing on top of a blessing on top of a blessing until you can't catch or uh, you can't catch them all. You're going to be sitting here and you're going to be running over. He said that you can't even be able to hold yourself. Too much of a blessing. Your cup going to run it over. He said, prove them this day. Hallelujah. I'm trying God. And I've been doing it. And the Lord been blessing me and my family. Times when I, I, I did not believe that <laughs> things were good happen. But because I was faithful, there's blessings in, 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 in being obedient. It's blessings in being obedience. They say obedience is even better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. So you ought to ask the Lord to, to keep you. And while you're asking the Lord to keep you, you ought to be obedient. Hold on one second. Thank you, Jesus. So I've all given. If you're giving on the cash app, S -T, uh, money sign, S-T-A-O-H, um, if you're giving there, uh, make sure you put on whether it's offering or tithes or um, uh, auxiliary uh, or our giving to our foreign mission because we are giving to um, our missions over the seas, uh, over in uh, Kenya, Africa. It's a place called Eldorat, Kenya. Um, Bishop Okusi is there and several other ministers um, and churches, and we have been helping them to build wells and helping them to uh, uh, build their churches and helping them to get uh, 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 transportation because when you ride, and if you've seen some of the pictures of how they go and pick up each other for church, two and three folks on a small motorbike Amen. And they're hurting themselves and because they're trying to get to church. Amen. So we got to make sure that we are uh, 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 doing our part. Amen. Amen. Have all given. Eternal Father, we thank you, O oh God, for your grace and mercy. And Lord, we thank you for each and every one of these who have given and those who had not to give but wanted to give. Lord, we ask you to bless them all back for their obedience and their sacrifice. We ask you, Lord Jesus, to bless them back a hundredfold. Lord, bless them back, Lord Jesus. A blessing that, Lord Jesus, that, that would overflow. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, bless the purpose the offering is being used for. Let it be multiplied for your will, your service, and program. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord uh, for each of you and being able to see your faces, Sister Iris and Sister Godfrey and Brother James coming in, amen. And uh, We thank the Lord for you, amen, uh, 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 that are online worshiping with us. We ask you to do something simple for me. And if you can grab your cell phones, go to Facebook, and on our Facebook page is... Sheriff Temple AOH Church of God Incorporated. Sheriff Temple AOH Church of God Incorporated. All we want you to do is like and share. Like and share. Amen. 
I want you to like and share for us so that we can get this word out to the people. Amen? Amen. That we might be able to continue to, to, to uh, uh, do the Lord's will. Also, very important. Uh, I started on the first, and I meant to and, and, and charted to uh, my, my head and not my heart. Uh, tell the saints, but we want to start today for the next 40 days. What day would that be ending on? Anybody got a calendar out? For the next 40 days, we want you to fast from 5 to 5. 40 days fasting from 5 to 5. Amen? Amen? Guess there's only one person going to fast with me. I said we fasting from 5 to 5. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And, and that is uh, no food, water. And, and I know when you be fasting, sometimes our breath gets a little hot. But we'll stand it. Keep the mask on. <laughs> Amen. You don't need to put no mitts in your mouth, no gum. We're fasting from five to five. Amen? Just do the best that you can. Amen? And while you are fasting at 12 p.m., wherever you are, set your alarm clocks. We want everybody to pray. Amen? We want everybody to pray. And what we're fasting for is the strength of this church the health of this church as a body. Amen. Last year we lost so many. We had a really devastating loss at the end of the year with Overseer Jackson. We want the Lord to keep us all in good health. Amen. There's a new strand of this, this virus that's even more contagious. And we want to make sure that we are keeping each other safe by praying for one another. Amen? Praying for one another. Scripture say the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Amen? So we want to make sure that we are praying for one another and, and making sure that we keep each other. Because sometimes, even in the winter time, this is the worst time where people get depressed, people get uh, uh, feeling uh, uh, down and out, and we want to keep our mental health in good health. Amen? Um, and this year, I want to uh, enact, we're going to start doing some of the things that we were doing uh, in the previous years. Uh, as soon as we're able to meet again, um, I want to uh, 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 start our tech classes back up um, and in I'm going to say probably, if not the end of January, we're going to have in February um, a finance seminar uh, to help people to get your finances together. Amen? In terms of saving money and in terms of uh, different uh, tools and, and mechanisms that you could use to help you uh, financially. Amen? I, I guess we can call it a financial uh, uh, savvy uh, um, training. Amen. And um, uh, we're just going to do some, some some more things this year um, that we used to do that we were not able to do in 2020, but we're going to work it out where we can do it virtually. Um, and uh, some of it will have to be in person, but uh, we will make sure that we are safe in, in what we're doing. Amen? Amen. Are there any other announcements? Yes, ma'am. Praise him. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Kelly, keeping us. Amen. Even when she at home. <laughs> Amen. She got that kitchen hot. Amen. I want uh, everybody also to... Um, uh, know that little brother Kwame is here. That's my little brother. And um, he uh, is in town. 
And I think he said he's leaving Tuesday. Think it leaving Tuesday. And if you uh, haven't seen him, uh, show him some love. Amen. Give him a call over there at the Mother Kelly house and tell him you miss him and you love him. And Kwame is a good kid. And um, he came in my shop yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. And um, I'm looking, and I'm thinking he was a customer at first because he was tall. He was a lot taller than he was. And he come in, and I said, what you doing in here, Kwame? And he said, hey. <laughs> and we talked for a few hours, and he cut his hair, and uh, I just enjoyed the time. But little brother Kwame is back uh, for just a short time. So you just say hi to him and uh, show him some love. Encourage him. These young people need encouragement. You don't know what they're going through. Uh, brother uh, Artis and Brother um, Evan, they came in on the watch meet. I hadn't seen them in quite some time, and they ain't got big, too. And I'm looking. I said, oh, man, these are big boys now. Amen. But we want to encourage our young people. Amen. I talked to Sister Finley, and um, I want to say if they're watching, Happy birthday to little sister Juliet. Her birthday is Wednesday. Amen. So we want to encourage them. They uh, uh, have been watching online and trying to stay out of COVID's way. Amen. So we want to encourage our young people. When you see them out at the stores and things, just encourage them. Let them know that you love them because you don't know what they're going through. You think we going through some things? They got a lot of other problems that they going through as young folks, amen, and they have to try to to, to deal in these social um, uncertainty, the social norms now and uncertainty and bullying online, and they are online more and more now because of the fact that we've gone through what we've gone through. So just keep them in, in your prayers, amen. Got a few other birthdays coming up this month too, amen, with uh, 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 Sister Terish uh, on the 11th, and my baby, Sister Wright, <laughs> January 12th, <laughs> amen, amen, I don't know, I think she's going to be something around 50, <laughs> amen, nah, she's not going to be in her 50s, amen, she's a young, young spring chicken, amen. <laughs> But I love her. That's my baby. Now her birthday is January 12th. So we just want to remember all of those uh, amen, who have the birthdays this month um, and, and, and just be encouraged. But remember, 5 to 5, is we're fasting um, on s Sundays. The fast will break after we are out of service every Sunday. Amen? So every Monday through sun Saturday, it's from 5 to 5. But on Sunday, the fast breaks after service. Amen? Amen. Let us all stand. Oh, uh, Brother Westfield's funeral. Uh, burial arrangements. Um, they're uh, going to do it on the 9th. But it's a family uh, deal only. They only want family there because it's some some underlying issues uh, in terms of COVID. So, um, and we're going to be, it's kind of a safe, safe environment, but uh, they only want to keep family there. Uh, but we are going to do a memorial service for him later on in the spring. He and Brother Timothy McCoy. Amen? Amen. And this is the victory, victory. that overcometh the world. Even yours, even, yours, even, mine, even mine, even ours. Even ours. Faith, 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 faith in, God, in God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We love you.